Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is crashing while saving the game or after saving the game. If the game is crashing, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to simply restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check if that does not work. Next step is to, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. But if you're able to launch the game, start a new game and then put a check on the box which says skip the prologue. So launch the game first. So after you launch the game, you can click on new game and then put a check on the box which says skip prologue. So you can put a check over here and then begin a game and then you can check. Now the next step is to make sure that you add friend who is hosting the game. Also make sure everyone in the lobby needs to be your friends on Steam. Be sure that the host of the game is your is in your friend list. And this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you can try this. Next step is to update the BIOS. Now this has also worked for many players, so do not ignore this. So go to your system manufacturer website. So for example, if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and find the latest BIOS update on your system manufacturer website. And in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then you can launch the game. This should work. Now the next step is to turn off proxy if you're using one. So if you're using any kind of proxy, then you can turn it off in Windows 11. You can even go to uh, network and internet and then over here you can see proxy option click on proxy if you're using any proxy make sure that you turn off the proxy and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to rename save game files now when you rename the save game files before that create a backup because you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can do this so first of all create a backup so you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, open local low folder. Now over here you can see TVGS folder, create a backup of this folder. Copy it and maybe paste it to the desktop. Now once you have a backup, once you have a backup, now you can rename this folder. Make a right click and then you can click on rename rename it dot old and once you rename this folder now you can launch the game and then check whenever you want to put the original folder back you can always put it back if you want to get the save game files now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important do not ignore this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here make sure that you restart it here and after the system restart you can launch the game now, if you face any problem while updating your windows, in that case, you can go to windows settings, go to system over here and scroll down over here. You can see recovery option. Click on recovery over here. You can see the option which says fix problems using windows update reinstall. It will reinstall your current version of windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall. Now this process will take some, take some time. And once this is done, now you can launch the game and then check. Make sure that right now the latest version uh, for Windows 11 user is version 2 for H2. So make sure that you update your win Windows to version 2 for H2 and then you can check. Next step is to, now you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game, but if you're able to launch the game, turn off vSync. So once you launch the game, uh, you can go to settings and then over here you can see vSync, uncheck vSync and then apply settings, confirm and then you can check. Now the next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy all these commands one by one and then paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now copy the second command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. 
now run the third command paste it hit the enter key now run the fourth command paste it hit the enter key again run the last command paste it hit the enter key now restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so you can go to steam make or active on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can close this launch the game and then check still not working and then this time you can type in dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this empty it and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this make or active in the game manage browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder make a double click launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from steam just make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click on the exe file go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work then put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working in that case so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then you can launch uh, follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game file this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on with defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app and then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so this is the location in my case open the game folder select the exe file click on open now type in control panel and then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and again open the game folder select the exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users uh, can first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then again open the game folder select the exe file now click on add 
Now, once the game is added, you can find the game in the list. Once the game is added, click on the game over here. And over here, you can see GPU preference. Set it to high performance and you will see your graphic card over here. Now launch the game and then you can check. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser and then it will take you to Microsoft website. Install these Visual Studio files. Now over here, you can see x86 and x64. You have to download both x86 and then run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and then click on yes to allow and install it. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and then click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once both are installed, then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. If you have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then over here, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also, if you have any third party overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app or GeForce experience running, you can go to NVIDIA app settings and then over here you will see NVIDIA overlay. You can turn this off and then check. Now, or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also, if you have any kind of overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Reaver Tuner, any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now 
if nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so you can simply uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so install the game to c drive if the game is installed to any other drive external drive like d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel